Hello and welcome to another recording. This will be an episode playthrough of Armistice. Let's get started. Something else on your mind? I need your help with a very sensitive mission. A former Kai, Opaka, was trapped on a prison moon in the Gamma Quadrant in 2369. Alien nanotech in her system prevents her from leaving the moon, but it also sustains her life indefinitely while on the surface. It seems the wardens of the prison were planning on curing and granting amnesty to the prisoners until their planet was decimated by the Herc. Somehow, the Dominion managed to obtain the cure and they provided it to us as a peace offering. The moon hasn't been hit by the Herc, but it's only a matter of time. We need to cure Opaka and the others and get them out of there before that happens. Okay, some points, some outfit unlocks. Some more Kepra Cell and Dilithium. And an option of one or three weapons. I'll probably go for the makeshift here, just because it's a melee weapon and Polaron's energy weapons are very easy to come by. Something else on your mind? Okay, let's get started. Good, we've arrived. I suggest scanning the prison moon and its satellite network. They might have fixed the design flaw we exploited here years ago to bypass their defenses. Sound tactical advice. Those satellites could cripple a Starfleet runabout with one shot back then. I'd rather not find out how powerful they are now, if you don't mind. Agreed. Helm, take us to scanning range. like the satellite weapons and defense systems were updated to deal with modern vessels but they still have the same flaw that Mars O'Brien took advantage of years ago what is this weakness you speak of you should be able to distract the satellites by firing probes near their position distract enough of them and you'll clear an area long enough to safely beam down an away team acknowledged picking up some debris clouds from Herc ships in orbit It's possible some Herc bypassed the satellites. We should be ready. Looks like O'Brien's trick still works. The satellites took the bait and we have a safe transport window. Right, bring us into transport range, Helm. We're in position. I recommend we bring some pattern enhancers along. Local interference can make it tough to get a lock on, and we might have to leave in a hurry. Agreed. All right. The doctor and I are ready to beam down when you are. Though I can't say I'm thrilled to see that moon again. Beam down. Ah, the wreckage of the Yangtze Jack. Or what's left of it. Looks like the locals have scavenged everything of value from the old girl. Unlike her, they can never die thanks to the nanotech inside of them. Until we provide the cure. Right. The last time we were here, the prisoners were eager to be cured, if only to get the chance to kill their rivals off for good. I'm hoping that Opaka has shown them a better path in the time she's been here among them. Let's find out. We're not alone. Herc life signs dead ahead. Hey. 
This is interesting. I just ran a medical scan on these herb. They're not regenerating. There's no sign of the alien nanites in their bodies. Something in the herb genetic makeup isn't compatible with the nanites. I suspect it only works on human ones. Then we have the advantage. Good. I'm gonna help me. There we go. We're here to help. Keep fighting. I like to pick up every item, even if I'm not going to use them, I can always uh, make credits by selling them. Scan the fallen prisoner. Over there. I think you'll find that she'll be in good health within moments. The healing nanites are quite effective. In fact, they seem to have become more efficient than they were last time I was here. Mortality and unusual punishment. You can relax. I'm fine now. Really. You made it. Good. The guy's been expecting you. She has? Yes. She's had a vision about you coming here. Come with us. We'll take you to her. Unless you'd rather stand around here until more of those things show up. You waste time, prisoner. Go now. Oh, now it's a bedroom, not a hallway. The guy's waiting for you, in the temple ahead. Welcome. It's been some time since we've had peaceful visitors. And Kai Kira, it's been too long. Truly, the prophets have smiled upon us today. Indeed they have. We have brought the cure. You'll be able to live a normal life away from here. You'll be free. And we have something to bring with us. A miracle. Is... Is that... Yes. A blessing from the prophets. The Orb of Peace. Through it, we ended the war between Ennis and Noel Ennis. Okay. As you can see, our peace has been shattered by the arrival of the hostile aliens. We have tried to speak with them, to find reason, but we have failed. We don't even know their name. They're called Herc, and there's no reasoning with them. They attack and devastate every world, every species they encounter. We need to get you and your people out of here as soon as possible. I see. We must take the orb with us as well. I can't have it falling into the hands of such a warlike species. It would be like the occupation all over again. That's not going to happen. I won't allow it and neither will my friends. We can administer the cure to everyone in groups. With your permission, we'll start right away. Very well. Begin the procedure. 
I'm sure many of us are eager to leave this place and begin a new life together. Understood. Okay, let's see. How do I find them? Oh, there they are. Some time ago, I asked Bashir for this cure. I wanted to use the cure as a weapon and kill the enemy. I couldn't put the war with the Knoll behind me. I hated him for denying my chance for vengeance. Now, that's changed, thanks to the Kai. I found a better path. I just want to lead a simple, natural life. You can now. Make it. Make the most of it. all this time to live a normal life it's like waking up from a really bad dream i i can think about having a family again an actual family i don't know what else to say except thank you you're welcome the cure huh well this cure had better work friend or we won't be friends no more get me your meaning is clear, inmate. Then it's true what the Kai saw in her dreams, those visions. The prophets sent us the orb, and now they sent you with our deliverance from this horrible place. Truly, the prophets smile upon us all. Victory is life. Is this for real? This cure? They talked about it a little after the Kai arrived, but I thought it was a myth. Never thought it was actually real. So, I can die now. Funny, I never thought I would. And now that I can, I'm a little scared. Is that strange? A predictable response. When they put me here, all I knew was war. I don't remember why it started, just that there was us and the Ennis, and the Ennis had to die. Even when the Kai came, I didn't believe. But when they found the orb and people stopped killing, things changed for me. Eh, guess there's something to faith after all. Anyway, thanks for everything. You're welcome. Looks like you're down to one dose of the cure. Use that. To inoculate the Kai. Kai or Parker, that is. I'll administer the cure to the rest here. Acknowledge, Doctor. Ooh, the rocks are floating. You have my thanks for all you have done for us today. May the blessings of the prophets be yours. To Herc may return. Prepare to leave. Those things are attacking! Defend yourselves! Assuming he's supposed I'm to be lying down. He's dead. There's nothing we can do for him. I see. Though we will mourn the loss of our friend Gollum, we can take comfort knowing that, at long last, he was able to leave this place for a better one. He is finally at peace, and his path will join the prophets in the Celestial Temple. He died so others could live respectable. First, a small Herc vessel was able to make it past the satellite network. You're going to have a company down there soon. Right, clear a transport window for us. Not an option. The Herc ship getting through pl plus our earlier deception put the defense grid on high alert. The probe rig isn't working on the satellites. What's the new evac plan? 
We're attempting to hack the satellite command network. Once we're done so, we'll be able to close the transporter, transport range and beam you out safely. There's still a lot of local interference, however. If you can get back to the initial transport site and activate your pattern enhancers, we'll be able to get a better lock on your position. Understood. Keep me updated. The doctor and I will stay with Opaka and her people in case the Herc make another attack here. Once you've cleared the way to the transport site, we'll join up with you there. Make sure the civilians are prepared. Okay. So again, we just gotta fight our way out. Okay. Move in, sweep out, move in, sweep out. That's an orbital, that's an orbit strike. Didn't think I had that. Why is not he moving? And we can trigger to the attack, which makes it just a little easier. the two are they come on over. he's probably gonna get wiped out before he has a chance to help me yeah no I he's spawned okay Wipe him out. Oh, I didn't even do any damage to him. I think a, a blast from a, a ship's phases would wipe something out. Somewhere. Glad everyone made it out in one piece. Set up the pattern enhancer so we can beam out safely. There's no telling when the Herc will send reinforcements down. Indeed.
You got a solid lock on your signal. First, ready to beam you back to the ship on your order. Beam up. Take a while to load. Okay. We're reading a Herc fleeting bound in our position to our position. Until we deal with them, we won't be able to lower shields to beam the rest of the colonists out. Are we still attempting to hack these satellites? Yes, we currently have partial access to their command network. Give us a little more time and we'll be able to reprogram the fight on our side. Make it happen quickly. Explains why I got wiped out so easily. Picking up more Herc at long range, a lot more. We don't have a lot of time. We are ready to reprogram satellites, however. Standing by to broadcast the signal to, uh, to the command network. Make it happen. Let's move the ship behind the satellites and lure the Herc in. First, we're receiving a coded message. Patch it through. Recruit, provide an update on your progress. What happened on Alt? We have brought death to the immortal warriors. The Ennis and Null Ennis can finally die? I suppose in our own way, we too wish for death. It is our greatest proof of loyalty. Strange. They were immortal like the Founders, but chose to give it up. Perhaps an eternity of war made them weary of never-ending life. Victory is life, Elder. Of course. But perhaps life is other things as well. No matter. Your efforts on Ult will have a positive impact on the Federation. The rescue of a Bajoran spiritual leader is the kind of inspiration that warfare cannot provide. Indeed, on it first. Oh, on it, Elder. Oh. Okay, let's see. Just in time. Here they come.
See the satellites are fighting with us. is to think whatever's left and then we can leave by last. All right, looks like the Herc have had enough for now. Let's get the rest of Opaka's people out of the colony while we can. The Herc might send a larger force to finish us off. Agreed. Transport a control. Ex energize. I'm glad. I was able to administer the cure to the remaining prisoners while you were clearing a path to the transport site. Everyone is safely aboard and mortal for the first time in many years. I've never seen so many people overjoyed to learn that eventually they'll die. Indeed. Thank you, Jillian. It means a lot to me to have everyone out safely, especially Opaka. It was a lot to talk about her and I. For now, I think we should return to Deep Space Nine before the Herc come back to settle the score. Depart system. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Emissary, our paths meet again. Hello, Ben. It's good to hear from you. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember that being part of the story arc. It's been a while since I played the episode, so yeah. Okay, so let's uh, collect our goodies. I'm glad we were able to return Opaka to Bajor safely. She's determined to follow the will of the prophets and establish a new place of worship in the Gamma Quadrant near the wormhole. Odo assures me that the Dominion are open to discussing this, but we'll see. Many of us have not forgotten the fate of the new Bajor colony and the Dominion's role in that. As for me, my time as Kai is coming to an end. Opaka is the Kai that Bajor needs now. I intend to guard the Celestial Temple from the Herc and anyone else who would destroy the home of the Prophets. Best place to do that is Deep Space Nine, as part of Starfleet. I'll be Captain Kira the next time you see me. Thank you again for helping me bring Opaka home. I... Okay, so let's collect a weapon. Congratulations on the first. And that's the end of this episode. 
you have any suggestions on better gameplay or better video, <laughs> please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.